a normal fall day in this West Jordan neighborhood. But look closer. When you can see all of our neighbors have sandbags. There are sandbags everywhere. Permanent fixtures for these homes to do their best to keep water out of their basements. The problem is these storm drains. And instead of water going down this drain, water's coming up out of it. These drains don't drain, they pump water right to Lindy's front door. You don't expect water to come inside your house. But in the one year since Lindy's family down moved in, her home has flooded down three down times. Like and they are not alone. Like I can't use my garage because I've got to keep sandbags in front of it. Patty says in three years, her home has flooded several times. That's my wedding dress right there. <laughs> why it's so dirty. And the flooding impacts the entire neighborhood. The water coming no matter how severe or minor the rainfall. By all accounts, the problem is Constitution Park, the park across the street from their homes. The park is designed to fill and act as a water retention pond as it did last August. But when the water in the park reaches a certain level, gravity forces water out of the park and into the neighborhoods. And when this neighborhood flooded over the summer, West Jordan admitted the park was inadequate and they even offered to help pay for some of the repairs. And she told us that they would cover it. Lindy and Patty say they were each told to file a claim with West Jordan. But after promising to help their saturated residents, now the city is leaving them hung out to dry. The claims denied. A letter from the city says it is immune from any claims relating to flood water. I'm really mad. Mad and with nowhere else to I'm turn, really this mad. time they called me. West Jordan City Attorney refused to talk about any of this, saying that the city does not comment on pending claims. Well, the claim isn't pending. Remember, it was denied, but maybe not. Just like that, somehow the claim is no longer denied. Ten days after our call, look, they each received this letter. The city is now paying for the cleanup costs. And while that addresses the immediate problem, residents in this neighborhood say they are not satisfied. After all, what is to keep this city pond from flooding their homes again? And it probably will. We investigated and found the city has known about the Constitution Park issues for years. Since 2008, look, the city has budgeted hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix the park. But despite the budget, year after year, zero dollars are actually spent on the project. The city attorney still refuses to talk to us, so we went upstairs to his boss. It's not something that's isolated to one area in the city. Melissa Johnson is the mayor of West Jordan City. She says they would love to fix the problem, but they simply don't have the $5 million it would take. But we can't do projects we can't pay for. Sure, but what about the budgeted money that was never spent? Well, Johnson says it was cut blaming tough times. And she points the finger at the West Jordan City Council, saying that at one time, they discussed raising the storm drain fees to pay for this project, but the council voted it down. If history is any indication, the park seems destined to fill and flood again. The city offered me no time frame for when they will fix the problem. It remains on the city's proposed budget for 2014. But we've seen the project has been pushed before. But it seems to me that these houses flooding the way they are is the city's fault. The city isn't responsible for rainfall in any no, form. No, but you're responsible for the runoff. No city takes responsibility for rain because it's, it's not something we can control. We can't turn it off. We can't turn it on. All we can do is try to manage it to the best of our ability. But procrastinating on the fix, residents here say that is not handling it to the best of your ability. I've asked people there, you know, would you want to live here? And they've told me straight, no, but it's okay that I live here.